So you finally decided to start a brand new channel and now you need to come up with a YouTube channel name that's going to complement your brand new channel. On this video today, I'm going to show you how to come up with different YouTube channel name ideas so that you can hit the ground running with this brand new channel. This is one of the most important steps that you're going to undertake when you're starting a brand new channel. Coming up with the right YouTube channel name can set you up later on down the track for everything else that you want to do. And I'm going to give you all the tips that you need in this video to come up with the right YouTube channel name. So like I said in the intro, today I'm going to be showing you how to come up with different YouTube channel name ideas. Now if this is the type of content that you're interested in, make sure that you hit that subscribe button turning on all the bell notifications so that I can notify you every time I come out with a brand new video, that way you don't miss out on any of the good stuff. So when you're looking to start a YouTube channel, one of the most important things that you're going to need to come up with is the YouTube channel name. So what I'm going to do today is give you some ideas and show you what other people have done when they've come up with their own YouTube channel name so that you get an idea of what you can do and how you can come up with different YouTube channel names. So when you have a look at my channel, for example, what I did was I used a name. So what I did was is I created Smart Video Tactics. Now this was done on the back of another channel that I've got which is called Smart Money Tactics. So as you can see, I'm trying to build a brand around that Smart Tactics with something in the middle. So when it comes to my Make Money Online niche, I've got Smart Money Tactics and when I've got my How to Create YouTube Videos, Helping People Grow on, on YouTube, I've got Smart Video Tactics. So this is what I've decided to do. This is how I've decided to grow my brand. But what other ways can you come up with different YouTube channel names? Well, there's three different ways that you can do this. The first way is you can use your own name. Now, if we think about my niche, for example, and if you type in, let's say, how to start a YouTube channel, let's just do that and hit enter. What's going to happen is we're going to see a whole range of different types of channels and channel names that people have come up with. And the first way is obviously using your own name. And as you can see here, there's a lot of creators like Gillian Perkins who's using her name. Now, when it comes to using your own name, it's very, very simple. You use your own name and you're done. That's it. There's nothing else to it, nothing more to it. And then you would go out, you'd create your own domain. For example, you know, if Jillian wanted to have her own domain in terms of with, with just her name, her social media would all be her name as well. But when you come down here, not everybody uses their name. And as you can see, you've got video influencers over here. Over here, you've got somebody else that's using their name as well. Then you can come down here and then there's a third way that you can come up with a YouTube channel name. And that's to have your name plus whatever your YouTube channel is about or what your content is about. For example, you've got Justin Brown here and he's got Primal Video. So what he's got is not only does he have his name, so you know that who the creator is, but they've also got the topic of their channel or the niche of their channel as well. So that's a third way that you can do it. So the first way is to come up just with your own name. Second way is to come up with a name for that particular channel. I'm going to give you some ideas on how to do that. And then the third way is to have, for example, video influencers, but to have a name in front of it or a name behind it. So they're the three ways that you can come up with a YouTube channel name when you're starting a YouTube channel. Now, the second thing that I suggest you do when you're thinking about coming up with a YouTube channel name is to quite simply write down all the different topics that your channel relates to. So if it's in the make money online niche, if it's in the YouTube niche, if it's in the cooking niche, whatever it might be is to go down and just write down every single topic, every single word that potentially relates to your YouTube channel. This is going to give you a good starting point of different YouTube channel names that you can come up with. And the reason I say that, for example, is that you would write down, let's say a cooking channel, you could have recipes, you could have um, different types of tools like pots and pans, you could have um, different ingredients and you write all that down and then from there you need to think about what your channel is going to be about and then you can start molding, mixing and molding different words, different names until you come up with a YouTube channel name that you want. But more importantly what you want to do is you want to come over to a niche that you're in and you want to scroll down and you want to have a look and see what other people have come up with. What other YouTube names are different creators using and what's working for them? Is it just their name? What connecting words are they using, etc.? So you go down and you have a look and you see and you get inspiration for all these different types of creators that have used different types of names for their YouTube channels like this one over here, for example, David Walsh online. So he's got his name and then he's just added online to the end of it. So is it just one word that you want to add to your YouTube channel name? Is it two words? Do you want to be known specifically? Are you going to niche down in that topic? So all these little things that you want to think about. So I would go in and I would brainstorm as many of these ideas 
topics and niches and I would write every single thing down. I would mix and match my own name into it and I would also mix and match different things that I've come up with, write it all down and then start to paint a picture of what you want and how you want to represent your YouTube channel name. The next thing you want to think about when you're coming up with a YouTube channel name is your brand and you need to think long term. So there's a few things that you want to consider, whether it's your name or whether you're coming up with a random name or your name with something else in it. And when I say long term, I'm thinking, you know, you've got social media, you've got websites, you've got different types of logos and stuff if you want to create it. So you really need to sit down and you really need to do a lot of research to make sure that the name that you come up with is available on different social media platforms and it's also available as a domain name as well because the last thing you want is to come up with a YouTube channel name like I have over here and then only to find out that somebody else has the domain name. Now it's not the end of the world if you find out that somebody has that domain name and they're not willing to sell it to you or it's a .com but you can still create one with a .net, I would still go ahead and do that. You can contact that person and try and purchase it, it's up to you but most importantly, you do not want to go and you do not want to create a YouTube channel name that somebody already has authority in that particular niche. Like if you come over to here and you type in smart <coughs> video tactics, for example, okay, you're going to see that the only videos that are going to come up when you search for this are going to be my videos. There's not going to be any other videos that are going to come up in this particular niche and that's exactly what you want, okay. Then you might find other videos related to a niche or if somebody has done a video on smart, you know, smart video procedures or something that could potentially come up. But when it comes to channels, no one else is going to be competing with me with my name. And that's extremely important because when you think about it, if somebody was to now go and create a smart video tactics channel, they're going to find it very hard to compete with somebody that's already got authority in that with that channel name and in that niche. So you really want to do a lot of research when it comes to this. Go on YouTube, have a search for a name that you've come up with. That's the first thing that you want to do. The second thing that you want to do is you want to go and make sure that that domain name is available and what other social media sites that name is free on. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using a free tool right now. So the site that you want to use when you're thinking about coming up with a YouTube channel name is called namechecker.com. So that's namecheck with an R.com. Okay, now this is a site where you can come in to put the name that you've potentially come up with into this search bar over here. And once you do that, it's going to let you know whether or not that domain is available as a .com and also which social media sites that name is available in. Okay, so when you come over here, let's say cooking classes, for example, okay. So you come over here, you click on to search, and this is going to tell us. Now, obviously, as you can imagine, cooking classes would be extremely popular. As you can see, domain.com is gone, Facebook's gone. Uh, MySpace is gone. All these different types of social media sites are gone. Okay, so what you could do then is you could obviously then what you need to do from there is you need to come up with a different name so that you could create that .com, Facebook, Twitter, etc. account so that you know that when you create your YouTube channel that you can go and create these different dom domains. So this is one site that you can do this with. And then what you could do is you could play around with these different names. Now, if you're struggling to come up with different YouTube channel name ideas, what I suggest you do is you come over to a site like, for example, uh, business name generator sites like this one over here through Shopify. There's also this one over here, namecheck.com. You can also come over to uh, name cheap and have a look at different types of domains that are available. But when you come over here, the reason why I like this site is let's say you come over here and you type in cooking, for example, and you click on to generate names, it's going to give you different name ideas that you could potentially use for your YouTube channel. So when you come down here, you look straight away, it's going to give you cooking, cooking explosion, sweet water cooking, contrast cooking, Excel cooking, etc., frequency cooking, cooking instant. So as you can see here, there's different types of YouTube channel name ideas that you can come up straight away on these different types of sites that give you ideas for business names because essentially what you're doing is you are starting a business. You are creating a business from scratch that you should be able to use long term with different social media sites. So one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they get excited, they create a YouTube channel name that just sounds fantastic, they start their channel and in three months and six months when their YouTube channel is monetized and it is growing and they see there's a lot of potential with their channel on YouTube, 
then they want to get onto social media like Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and any other social media platform and they want to create a domain name and they realize that the name that they've been using this entire time has been taken by somebody else a while ago and they cannot use any of those platforms to complement each other, okay? So really, really important that from the get-go, you get your YouTube channel name right, you do your research, you go onto YouTube, you have a look at the availability, you come up with different names, you have a look and make sure that the domain name is available. And once you do all that and you come up with the right YouTube channel name, is the time that you create that YouTube channel and then you hit the ground running from the get-go and you make sure that everything is done right from the beginning. So that was my video for today, guys, a nice and quick one just to give you an idea of different ways that you could potentially think about different YouTube channel names and how important it is to come up with the right YouTube channel name idea. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button in appreciation. And I'll always have a couple more videos that you can watch over here of different ways that you can grow your YouTube channel and make some money and have the best impact along the way. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, you guys stay safe and goodbye.